I'm very pleased to share with you today a sonic crown that I've titled on evolutionary adaptability. I've also named each of the seven poems within it, which isn't always done in a crown. The sonic crown represents a kind of cycle or circle, and that is because in the seven sonnets, the last line of the sonnet before it is used as the first line in the next sonnet. So there's a kind of chain effect or a kind of cycle effect. And in the last sonnet, the first line of the first poem is the last line of the final sonnet. And so you actually do have a circle, a sense of a recurring and interlocked story that becomes a kind of mythos. Um, please enjoy on evolutionary adaptability. And the first sonnet is Ulysses also steered by the night sky after NPR's sky watch. Some dung beetles navigate by the stars, rolling their multivalent ball by night, Milky Way snapshots stored in their brains. Hatching from an egg inside their brood balls, larvae's poop-packed lunch lasts for days. Dung dudes proffer these piles like champagne and oysters, coat in pheromones, position near tunnels of love, wait for partners, their butts lifting in lust, cooling post-coital in these earthen globes. A poem, really, this stunning compression, this roving ball of tinder, birth, nourishment, home. Net zero, too, I muse, roaming my domestic sphere, sprawling rooms of human being. Two, the comfort in. Sprawling rooms of human being, volleyball squads stretch across the inn's entrance, cluster like stands of sequoas, bending toward TV, each other, grabbing fists of pizza from a table's tower of boxes. Tomorrow's the tourney, pen players tell me, as they lope down dark plaid hallways, elevator up to bed, warm and full. Comfort finds me this night on white pillows, mounded like clean snow, dreams tumbling deep and long. I wake to worry about my son, team star turned to phobia's addiction. I drive to see him this day in state prison, morning glowing rose gold on winter trees. Three the past making itself present in the future, and I will read the note. I borrow this title from a phrase in the Pulitzer Prize 2022 novel, Trust. Morning glowing rolls rose gold on winter trees. I greet dawn deep breathing, name gratitude out loud. When sun throws geometries, shapes on wall and floor, I practice new angles. Less is more my closet. Consider my circle of friends. Kill my darlings in revision. Walk shorter but faster. Cook a long, sweet ceremony. Braise lamb with garlic and rosemary. I magic marches stoop, turn pine needles cones into pots of pale pansies, trailing emerald ivy, dream Iceland lagoons in April, sand and sea in May. Yet I want what lasts. Sonnet's response, this form, these lines, the past. I take this next title from a New York Times article dated March 1st, 20. 22, the New York Times Jurassic Age bug was found at Walmart in Arkansas. The title is The Intricacy and Utility of Winged Creatures. Sonnet's response, this form, these lines, the past. Can Anthropocene conceits, poetry, outlast nature? Nah, 
Let's look again at insects. A giant lace wing, thought extinct since the age of Aquarius in North America, clung to a Walmart's wall in Arkansas, the searchlight and et entomologist's eye. Their pale gray larvae sport long mandibles like tiny alligators to scissor prey, stab aphids, slurp nectar. Hanging here since Jurassic age, now that's endurance. Sapiens, 160,000 years, moon landing notwithstanding, seems a blurb, a blip beside winged creatures, greening gardens, lasting. This next sonnet, I also borrow a title from uh, at least a, a, a nod to another text, uh, this poem's title, as well as some of its notions, have been adapted from Stephen Johnson's 2021 book, Extra Life, A Short History of Living Longer. And the, this, this sonnet is entitled Extra Life. Winged creatures, greening gardens, lasting, an endless summer idol from my childhood book of fairy tales. Let's adult our myths. Turn to modernity, science, living longer. Our human lifespan doubled in a single century. Now most of us live to 73. Thanks science, adaptability, source, and result. Sewers, vaccines, antibiotics, add refrigeration, chlorination. But longer human life birthed our planets dying. These days, we beg big-brained scientists to heal this plastic planet, this frying earth. Adaptation's policy not poetry. The back and forth of things. Adaptation's policy, not poetry. Seems an argument for art's extinction, fiddling while Rome burns and all of that. Now I know science saves and destroys me. What's left to say? What for these lines and lasting? Though I've forgotten names of lovers, Hopkins, Nothing is so beautiful as spring when weeds and wheels shoot long and lovely and lush has stayed. I want the world to open windows, whoosh poetry in like April air, lungs lush with language, bodies rhythm sprung, hearts pumping with metaphors grace to make new things both disparate the same. The final poem in the crown, Green Dream Vision. To make new things both disparate the same, my blonde boy, age eight, joins his shaved head man self, released just now from prison, and me, so many ages all at once, in our farm switchgrass field, stalks reach to our waists and chests, tickling our arms, scratching our noses, hundreds of green grasshoppers jumping and spitting around us, their babies dotting slender leaves like pea-green pencil points. We find Matt's rusty bug boxes in the barn, filled with mantis, hungry, praying for food, so the boy frees them, the man blesses them. Nightfall we lie in dude, green liberty, begin the story. Some dung beetles navigate by the stars. <laughs>